Hey guys, I'm back with an update for my last Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I think it's been plenty of time and it's time now to update you guys and tell you which are hits, which are misses, which are great products, makeup products at the Dollar Tree. But first I wanna show you this like awesome shirt. It says Justin on it. Bieber. <laughs> Is that totally geeky of me? Okay, so I have, basically in this video, I'm going to be doing, rating the products from like one thumbs up to five thumbs ups. So you guys can kind of know where I kind of stand from one to five. Also, any swatches, like lip swatches, I'm going to be doing. So you can kind of get a good look of what the lipsticks kind of look like. Also, I'm wearing all of the products on my face today um, so that you guys could kind of see what they look like. So if you like these type of videos, make sure to give me a big old fat thumbs up. So first off, I guess I'll talk about these. These are the Sinful Colors and Kylie Jenner collection um, at the Dollar Tree, only a dollar, uh, obviously. It's a Dollar Tree, not Dollar Store. Everything's a dollar. Um, I have two more colors, like a lavender color and like a rosy color um, as well. You check out that Dollar Tree haul if you want to see what they look like. I love this formula, all of them. All five of these that I could find at the Dollar Tree are amazing. That's probably one of the best Sinful Colors formula that I've ever tried. It's very comparable to a lot of the nicer nail polishes. I just think it goes on really smoothly, really opaque, beautiful, like beautiful. This one here, um, the cashmere is my favorite. It's a white with a purple undertone to it. So it's very, very wearable. So if you can't wear white, this is probably a good one to try because it's a good way to wear white where it just looks nice because it has that purpley undertone and it's so beautiful. I think it's so hard to find a white that isn't patchy or just like streaky it's very difficult and this is a really good formula one and it's really really nice one of my favorites i love this one so much that i went back and got a second one at the dollar tree because i never want to run out of this one so i'm going to rate these nail polishes five out of five thumbs up next is this little sponge guy the sponge guy that i was super excited about i did use it in a video like a first full face of first impressions this is really really soft when it's dry it doesn't change at all when it's wet. It's still the same size, it feels the same. It doesn't even feel that wet whenever I soak it in. It's like, it doesn't soak up any water at all. So it's basically the same. With that said, this is a really, really soft sponge. And when it's dry, I used it when it's dry and it works great. For foundation, it does a good job of blending out foundation. It does, it does. It doesn't soak up a lot of the product because it's. I feel like it's not one of those sponges that just soaks up a lot. And it's, it's nice. I mean, you don't need to bash your face with it, but just doing this, like it's soft. It's soft. And I feel like it's just one of those things where the foundation sits on top and you just kind of blend it in all over your face. So do I like the sponge? Yes, it's not like the Beauty Blender. It's not gonna get huge. It's not kind of one of those ones where you really squish it into the skin. It's kind of one of those, it kind of works like a stippling brush. Like a stippling brush, you know, it's you know, it's a fat brush. The product sits on top and you stipple it on the face like this, and you don't really smush it in and do this. You don't really smush it in. Like sometimes a beauty blender, like I can really like squish it into my face. This is more like a stippling brush where it just sits on top and you're literally like barely touching your face and just stippling it on. It also does a really good job of blending out like cream products, so like cream bronzers, it does a really good job with that but it's nothing like any of the other beauty sponges where it's going to get bigger or anything like that. I don't know if this makes sense. This is a good one though. It does blend out foundation just the way it is. It's meant to be used dry. So um, it's a good one for a dollar. So if you want something to blend out like cream products or to blend out foundation, but you don't really care for like that style where it's like moist, this is fine. Just, I think it works great. I don't know. I think a lot of you guys may kind of be into like a regular sponge. You know what I mean? Like the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Um, but I personally, I do like it. I'm gonna rate it a four out of five thumbs ups because it really does do what it needs to do. So I also got this LA Colors eye palette. Um, this one's in hot and there's six eyeshadows in here, all neutral. They're not all matte. Um, some of them are kind of like the satin finish where it has a little bit of a glow. 
Um, I really, really like this palette. The eyeshadows are really, really soft. And uh, it's what I have on my eyes. It's the only thing I have on my eyes. I love this palette for like every day. I love this palette for like every day. This is the one that I use every day. So this are the swatches right there. Um, I love how pigmented this light color is. I'm obsessed with it. It's what's in the inner corner underneath my eyes. All over my lid is this color right here. It's like bronzy color right here all over my lid in the outer corner and smudged close to my lashes are this are these two colors mixed together also this color is as a transition color and then this one here is kind of in the inner part of the lid so i really love these i do i think these two are it's hard to tell the difference when they're so close together so i have to mix this one with this darker color to make it noticeably darker but this is a really good palette for like if you're starting out with makeup if you're a mom if you just want a palette of nudes for every day something that works good um i didn't use any primer at all on my lid today i didn't use any primer and uh it just they blended out really smooth and really nice i love 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 this color right here for the transition shade like i'm obsessed with it i love it even if that's the only shade that i use in this palette I love it and so um, I definitely think it's worth the buy so I'm gonna give it five, five thumbs ups out of five. I think it's a really good palette to have. It's a really good nude. It's super super affordable and they're really really pigmented. I mean they're really pigmented. Next let's talk about blushes or bronzers. So these are the two LA Color bronzers that they have. They're called LA Color blushes but they're bronzers. This one's in baked. This one's in bronze. I have them both on today. Um, bronze is not, bronze is more of like the sun-kissed kind of color where it's like golden and it has a almost satiny finish, like a sheen to it. It's not glittery, um, it's not shimmery, but that's what it looks like. It's really, really bronzy. Like that's just, that's just what it is. I use this on the cheeks right here to give me a more of a, a, some warmth and some life. And then to contour with, I use this one, which is called Baked. The thing with this one is it's kind of more on the matter side, but it's, oh, these are so stinking soft. So soft. Um, this is good for someone that has a warmer undertone because you can see, like, it's not as orange as this other one, but it's still a warm contour so for me it works it that's what i have in my contour because i'm my skin is very warm and so using a cool contour is going to make me look muddy so if you have warmer skin this is a good one to try to contour with and also if you just use a very light hand with this you can make it work it's really nice contour it's it looks a little bit um more orangey on the face not orangey but like it's definitely like a warm a warm contour shade so just, I'm going to leave it at that. Because these are so pigmented, um, honestly, they're very, they're just as pigmented as any other of my contour or bronzers, like my Wet n Wild one that I love, the uh, Princess Avenue one. They're just as pigmented as those. And the, I give these a five out of five thumbs up. I think I'm going to be saying that a lot this haul, this time, because these are just really good. So I give them a five out of five thumbs up. But if you don't like warm bronzers, stay away from these. You're not gonna like. I have some blushes as well. I have all of the blushes that they carry. Um, I only have one here, the mauvey one that I have in my collection somewhere, and I don't have that one to swatch for you guys. But I'll swatch these ones. I pulled this one out because I hauled this a long, long time ago. But um, I have five of them. I love these LA Color Blush. I'm telling you right now, five out of five thumbs up. If you see any of these, pick them up. They're totally worth it. They're really pigmented. And these blushes actually last longer on my cheeks than some of my other blushes. They last longer than my Diffused um, Hourglass Blush in Diffused Heat. Um, they last longer than some of my Wet n Wild blushes that I love. They really do last a long time and they're super, super pigmented. So I'll go ahead and start with what's on today, what I have on today. Today I have on Toast, which is almost a matte. But the thing about these mattes are that they don't look dry. Some mattes look chalky dry. 
These mats don't look like that. These mats just look really, really nice. They just don't have any sheen or shimmer to them, and but they don't look dry at all. So this one here is called Toast, and it's super, super pigmented. And this one is kind of like a corally brown color where it looks kind of more corally brown in there, but it's just a beautiful for every day. That's what's on as a blush today. And then on top of that, right only in the apples of the cheeks, I went in with this one, Pink Blush just in the very apples of the cheeks. So you can kind of see this one will be beautiful on a really fair skin. Um, but surprisingly, you can see that there. So I went in with this one only in the apples and then with this one all over the cheeks. So surprisingly, I actually, I, I don't have any complaints about the shades or the colors. This one is the lightest one and it doesn't look chalky on my skin. Like even though it's light, it has enough pink that it's not gonna look white on my cheeks. So I really like, love, love, love that. Then we of course have my favorite one. This is my favorite blush of all times, of all the blushes I possibly have ever tried or owned. This one's called Spice. And this one is more of like a satin kind of finish. And it's definitely, these are all super pigmented and super soft. That's how it looks. These sheer out, guys. Don't be scared of, of these. This is one of my favorites. So, so that one's Spice right there. It's my absolute favorite blush that I own. Then we have Sweet Cheeks, which is a bright pink that I use very often. Beautiful, beautiful. And you just have to use a very light hand with these, you guys. Very light hand. Then this one, which is called Peach Rose, another beautiful everyday type of shade. That was a weird place to swatch it at. And then that one right there. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I should swatch it up there. Let me switch where I swatch that one. And then Peach Rose up there, just beautiful for every day. So I love these blushes. These are really, really, really good blushes. Uh, if you see them, pick them up. Last but not least are these. These are the Fergie um, Velvet Matte Lip Colors by Wet n Wild. Um, I love the Velvet Matte Lip Colors from the regular collection. They're really nice. They give you a matte look, but they're not dry matte. They're not, they don't feel matte. They feel nice and soft and velvety on the lips. So I really, really love these from the regular collection. So when I saw that they had the Fergie ones, um, I was super interested. So uh, yeah, let's do some lip swatches. I'll bring you guys in so you guys can see some of these. Uh, my opinion real quick, I love these. These are amazing. Again, if you like the color, pick it up. It's totally worth it. They're really beautiful. The only thing is that some of these, like they just, I, yeah, see, look at this. They'll fall out of here. So you just kinda, kinda have to smush it back in. Um, but besides that, I mean, for only a dollar, really, I just have to, if it comes out, I have to just pop it back in. Totally okay with that. Um, it's just, they're really, really nice. They feel like the regular line. They last on me for about five hours before I have to reapply. I can eat, I can drink, and they're pretty good. They don't smear all over, they don't get on my teeth. So I really, really, really like them. And then when they do fade, they just fade gradually. So it's a beautiful fade. It's not like ugly, crackly looking. So I give these a five out of five thumbs up. Let's do some lip swatch. I have a mix of three different ones on my lips today. I thought I would show you. I have this one, which is DJ Doll. Um, and then in the center, I have this one, which is Nude Muse. And then kind of mixed in all over, I added a little bit of Transcendence um, as well. So this is a mix, but mostly this little color right here on my lips right now. I'm someone who has really dry and crackly lips, so let's do this crazy one first. This one is called The, the Standout. Uh, really, really beautiful. And this one's the only one that has almost like a duochromeness to it, where it's lavender, but it has like a bluish tint to it. I really love this one. It's a beautiful lavender. It doesn't, I don't feel like it washes me out, so. If you wanted to try lavender, this is a great way to do it. This one is called Nude Muse. 
I really like this one too. For being a light color, I love that there's enough like warmness, peachiness to it that it's not gonna look like a concealer, so. Okay, this one is called Creamsicle Kitty. I know with my makeup, this does not match at all. This one's called DJ Doll. This one's called Transcendent Perfect Everyday Nude. One of my favorites for sure. Like This is one of the everyday ones. Probably my most used color. Because it's just a beautiful, perfect nude. Last one is this one, which is called Timeless Chick. I'm going to be using this one in the fall all the time. Beautiful. I love how these look on the lips. So that's it for my Dollar Tree update. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys all of the products that I hauled. A lot of these are five out of five. Like a lot of these, in my opinion, are actually really good. And for only a dollar, these are probably the this is probably the best haul that I've done so far as in, in the sense that uh, I've gotten a lot of things that I really like. So uh, if you like Dollar Tree hauls and updates, make sure to give me a big old fat thumbs up. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday and I'm excited for the coming week. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.